Hello and uh, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you a few perfumes from the niche French house called Histoire de Parfum, which is uh, would be translated in the histories of perfumes. They have these beautiful boxes with samples and they have been very kind with me and they have sent me a few of these today i'm gonna present you the this is not a blue bottle line i have here six perfumes from the this is not a blue bottle line so from 1.6 to 1.1 i don't know them i have tried uh, some of this one point something in galerie lafayette in paris when i was there but I have not tried them like thoroughly to know which one I like from the whole line. So please stay tuned. I will now open this sample box with six perfumes, like I said, and I will go through them together with you and tell you how I think they are. The first one I will try is the 1.6. And I also have here a little booklet so the 1.6 is Hesperid Floral, Feminine and Masculine, Yuzu, Neroli, Musk, Blanks. So I will spray it now and also tell you how I think it is. Well, this is very, very nice and fresh. It's a summery Neroli type of smell. It has been created in 2020. It has orange yuzu grapefruit, so very citrusy at start, so as top notes. Orange blossom, lotus, neroli, jasmine, geranium, and as base notes, vanilla, vetiver, and white musk. This uh, is in the lines of note de yuzu from Healy, or like uh, something that is very neroli strong based perfume like uh, neroli portofino let's say from tom ford so the 1.6 is very fresh very summery i think it's really nice if you like floral citrusy perfumes for the summer 1.6 is something that you would uh, consider so yeah fresh and citrusy the 1.6 this is not a blue bottle 1.5 Let's see what it says here. Absolute synthese, feminine and masculine accords, aldehyde, ozonique, and mineral. So let's see what is uh, this about. This has been created in 2018. The perfumer, her name is Sylvie Jourdet. Let's see how it smells. As notes, you would have aldehydes, citrus notes, and ozonic notes as top notes. In heart notes, you'll have floral notes. And in base notes, ambroxan, musk and mineral notes. So this is noted as a fresh citrusy fragrance, but for me, this smells somehow powdery. So like something that you would wear as a lady who likes Chanel perfumes, like the number five or so. I mean, it doesn't smell like number five, but it's a bit powdery, a bit into this direction of classical type of wearing. So I wouldn't see this with like jeans and a t-shirt. So this is not a blue bottle 1.5. Seems also not very strong. It's not projecting too much. And you saw that I have sprayed a few sprays. Classical powdery for a lady, I would say. The 1.5. This is the 1.4. This is uh, not a blue bottle 1.4 was created in 2018. The perfumer behind it is Luca Maffei. I will now spray it and go through the notes with you to see how it is. It's very strong in lavender. Wow, it's very, very nice. So you will have cardamom, davana, lavender as top notes. Then in heart notes, ylang ylang, tonka bean, benzoin. And in base notes, patchouli, labdanum and opoponax. So this is a very interesting scent. So it is, it's starting very flowery with this lavender and cardamom and davana, but as a base notes, it has patchouli, opoponax, 
and labdanum so it's it's a very nice contrast between the smells so i like it uh, i like it the perfumer is luca mafe and it reminds me a bit of sunshine man from amouage probably is the ylang ylang and with the davana together so this is not a blue bottle 1.4 which so far is the most intriguing smell from all of these i like it i like it it's a floral but with a bit of a twist from the poponax and the labdanum so 1.4 this is not a blue bottle. Next one is, this is not a blue bottle 1.3 and it says Oriental Cuire, feminine and masculine, rose, saffron and queer. So rose, saffron and leather has been created by Julian Raskinet, Gerald Guichelin, which is the creative director for Histoire de Parfum. Let's see how is this one. This is a creation of 2017, it's unisex and it starts with blood orange, then it has rose, saffron, so oriental, patchouli and leather. And so far this, this is not a blue bottle 1.3, I can tell you that is very oriental, very mysterious. It is a perfume that you would like very much if you are into orientals with a rose, with wood, with saffron. saffron. So this blood orange, which is in the top notes, is very, very strong and natural smelling. And the rose and the saffron, the saffron is not so much. This is not a blue bottle 1.3. So far, this is my favorite from all of them. So after this is the 1.6, which is very fresh, very citrusy. And the 1.3 is at this moment on number one. Very, very nice. Julian Raskine is one of my favorite perfumers and uh, I can see that this creation that he did for uh, Histoire de Parfum is quite good. I think a bottle will follow soon of the 1.3. The next one in the list is the 1.2. Let's see what it says in this beautiful little booklet. The 1.2 is Floral Musquet, feminine and masculine with lilas, ylang ylang and santal. So something flowery. This has been created in 2017 by Luca Maffei and Gerald Guichelin. So let's see how it is. These testers are quite tiny, so... Hmm, very interesting. You have pink pepper, lila, lily of the valley, ylang ylang, sandalwood, vanilla, white musk. Yeah, this is a very floral, nice, more for ladies type of uh, perfume i see i would see it like something you would like to wear with a light dress in the evening in the summer or like in the warm evenings of the spring it has a beautiful smell it's nice it smells like lily of the valley and lila and ylang ylang so a floral white musk type of smell for the summer for a lady so 1.2 this is not a blue bottle 1.2 is so far my least favorite from the line and the last one is the this is not a blue bottle 1.1 so this is a perfume of 2015 the perfumers are julian raskinet and gerald guichelin also as a creative director and it says patchouli attractive oriental with orange patchouli and musk Let's see how it behaves on the paper strip. Wow, this is wonderful. This is sweet, slightly synthetic. Let's call it this way. You have aldehydes, orange, honey, geranium, amber, musk and patchouli as notes. I can perceive something similar to ambroxan. It doesn't say that there is ambroxan, but Something Ambroxan similar is in here and this would be for me kind of like um, in the same lines with the Dior Sauvage, the David of Parfum, which also is with Ambroxan. So this is really a, a fresh smell for uh, a man, for a young man. I wouldn't see this one uh, worn in an office, let's say. It's kind of for somebody who is between 18 to 25, 24, 25. Like goes out with friends, sprays a lot, has a t-shirt. This has a very nice and very, very summery type of smell. 
it is playful and I feel also hay so the same hay as you would feel in Chergi so Ambroxan and hay I can perceive from this smell even if there isn't uh, mentioned in the notes and to be honest for full retail I don't think this would make sense but if I would find a 60 milliliter bottle somewhere discounted I will get one of these so yeah this is the this is not a blue bottle line from Histoire de Parfum. I am very thankful to Histoire de Parfum for sending me these samples. I have um, still others to test and I will make it as new episodes because there are so many so I don't want to make such a long video posting all of them. I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation of the this is not a blue bottle line. I always uh, was curious about them and now I'm happy that I can share this with you. I will go again very fast from 1.6 to 1.1 and give you which three I like the most from the line. So 1.6, yeah very nice, very beautiful summery Neroli based perfume. So for a summer the 1.6 is really nice and with Yuzu also so I like it very much the 1.6. 1.5 no 1.5 is it dries down a bit generic no I don't like the 1.4 by Luca Maffei has a very nice dry down with Davana lavender the lavender the high quality I think is Provence lavender it's it's here and it reminds me very much of sunshine man from Amouage and I don't know how it would be on the skin but on the paper smells absolutely fantastic so if you're on the market for something like sunshine man you can give 1.4 a try. The 1.3, yeah, the 1.3 is absolutely great with blood orange, rose, saffron. By the way, it smells, it's it's quite like a rose perfume, something that Maison Francis Kurvchan would make. The 1.2, it's also very nice and very floral, very classy. I would see it more for a lady, like I said, wearing a nice dress in a warm evening, not for men. Mm -mm. I think this would go better like if it would be advertised only for ladies. The 1.1 has become this very nice perfume that you can wear it all the time, like this dumb rich that you just take and spray and go mind your own business. It doesn't say Ambroxan in the notes, but I think it has some. I like it very much. And for the right price, uh, a bottle would be, would, would be okay. In conclusion, the top three from this is not a blue bottle line for me are 1.3 is the number one. 1.6 follows closely and 1.1 is number three. These three are my favorite. I hope you enjoyed this uh, introduction into the This is not a blue bottle line from Histoire de Parfum. Please comment down below what is your experience with them and if you know them or if you would like to try them. And I hope to see you soon on the channel again. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.